I'm really excited about ID Tech coming on the market because it is now fulfilling a need that we've had for a long time. And that need has gotten more acute with the world situation, with the problems with immigration, visa, border security, drugs, bribes, all the kind of stuff that goes on that we need to be concerned about. We've seen it used successfully in Mexico, in other Latin American countries, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Panama, and now if we using it in the United States is really exciting and we're hoping that will happen very soon because we have these pressing problems and they can't be solved with polygraph alone because we don't have the resources to be able to do that and can't do it fast enough. So there's great pressure and I detect has come on the scene just at the time that our society really needs this. If people are applying to come into this country who have no documentation, which is very common, how are they going to demonstrate that they're acceptable as immigrants to this country? Well, I detect is a perfect solution. We can ask them questions. They can say what their background is and an application and so on. They can give whatever information the agency requires and we can then evaluate that with eye detect. It's a very simple, straightforward procedure. To, some people say it's not humane to use polygraphs. Well, I don't believe that really, but it is a more onerous, sort of oppressive appearing technique. The eye detect is much simpler, where they just simply answer true or false to simple questions on a computer screen is a very easy way and is much more palatable and acceptable to the people who have to do this. And it can be done with much less commitment of resources than having to hire a lot of human people to try to evaluate. They have no basis for making those judgments. They sort of say, well, this person seems okay, this person doesn't. Or they have to wait months and months and months before a decision is made. So it can solve the problem and do it efficiently, inexpensively, and rapidly. And that's what we need.